Today is the day. Can you believe these chicks are just a couple weeks old? It seems like we got them the day before yesterday and now they're huge. And once I put the water in here, I realized that uh, they were really fighting over the food. So I went ahead and added a couple more feed containers in here just so we could kind of spread them out a little bit and they wouldn't be all on top of one another. So it looks like they're taken care of. They're not fighting nearly as much over food. And now I'm gonna show you guys what's happening today. I'm excited. Over the past several weeks, I, we keep getting comments. You know, what happened to the renovation to the yurt? What happened to the windows? What happened to that? Well, when you run a farm and a business and that accounts for your business and how you make money, um, things, you know, some things just have to take a back burner. So we can do things like this. So when you're on a farm, when you're on a homestead, sometimes things just have to take a back burner like everything in life. You have to focus on the most important things. And during the springtime, planting is the most important thing. So we are able to get things in the ground and be able to grow food for ourselves and for others. So maybe you have guessed what's happening today. And if not, come on, I'll show you. <laughs> that's one of the <laughs> that's kind of a first here on on the homestead normally i'm the one hands-on everything but right now evan's doing most of the work <laughs> well what is it that evan's doing we are installing windows or evan's installing windows <laughs> and i'm just watching <laughs> i've never seen it done before <laughs> we got a supervisor here today so uh we're actually going to be putting in this window um right in this spot right here um, working on the framing. We're taking apart a little bit of the framing that's in here right now and uh, we're getting it all prepared to, to slide this window in. So we're working from the inside and then working out. And since this place is circular, I said uh, presenting in a little few, uh, making you, your brain work a little bit harder. <laughs> it's making my mind go in circles right now. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a little different from normal framing. Um, we're usually, uh, this is my first time framing out a window in a in a yurt, so learn a couple things as I'm going, but it's fun. I'm so excited. I'll be able to see outside now, except just, you know, not just through the door, but through a window. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I am. I've been waiting a really, 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 really long time for real windows to be put in here. I still remember going out and changing the Velcro windows in the rain and thunderstorms and It'll be nice to just open the window from the inside. And who was right there with you doing that? You were on a few occasions. I still remember this one time I was doing it in a thunderstorm and this loud boom hit and I'm like, I want to be inside. I don't like that out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love those musical instruments in the house. Thank you. Thank you very much, Micah. So the windows that Evan's working on right now is 36 by 35. But one of the questions I had, Lacey, for these small windows that we have is if you wanted to put this one right here, right here at the kitchen, 
would that be a spot you may want or do you have something else in mind so yeah we could do one right there um i want to see how these look over here before i 100 percent go with this one right here you also have one more window this size i'll mean, uh, be thinking about where you may want to put the other one like this too okay i can do that all done yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a window but can't see outside <laughs> i did ask for a window i guess i didn't ask i need to be a little more specific <laughs> well it looks like y'all are getting busy in here yep we're getting there so, I'm going to head out to the garden and see what needs to be weeded and what I can do out there. Alright, sounds good. While they're working on the window, I'm coming out here and I know that our peppers, around our peppers, need to be weeded because we were growing radishes around them and we pulled the radishes, but now what we're left with is a bunch of grass in here. So I am going to grab the syrup hoe and work on that. I think I'm gonna go inside and get me some water and see what they got going on. And then I'll come back and rake all this up once it dries out a little bit. Well, looky here, what we got. Look, there's a window. We have a window. Let's go see what it looks like inside. So how does it look? Got the first window in. Man, I'm surprised how big of a difference it makes. Man, it's pretty neat to see that. I like it. I think we want a perfect size too. I think it looks great. I'm happy with the size. You know, we were wondering if they were gonna be too big, but I think they're just right. I think they are too. Wouldn't want to go any smaller, and I don't think we could have gone any bigger. So, uh, man, I'm definitely, definitely digging it. So we're at a point where uh, Evan's working on the window over there, but also trying to figure out where exactly we want to put the window at for here. We want to go, whoops, somewhere right in here. I don't know. What do you think? I don't want to go too far over that way. That'd be behind the chair. I'm thinking maybe if, you, if the, you're sitting in the chair, you can kind of look to your right and look out the window and see the kids playing right there. Yeah. What do you think about that? I like it over a little bit yeah right here where the kid you could still yeah. sit in the chair see the kids playing right outside in the play area i like, like it me. i think yeah, yeah like you just like you and we keep an eye on you make sure you're behaving and not misbehaving getting into trouble you troublemaker <laughs> no i think that's a really good idea i didn't want them to be too close together and i think right there would be perfect so how's it coming out there in the garden i stir up hoed the whole bed of peppers and it's hot outside, just to let you know. Yeah, got an early start and you got out there a little bit later when it's hot. And it, it was cloudy, it was overcast. I actually thought it might rain on us, but now the sun is out with a with, uh, with vengeance. <laughs> yes, when I started, there was some cloud cover, but by the time I finished, there was none. Yeah. Well, I came in to get me some water and it's great to see the progress that you've made. Evan, so, he's doing it. I know, I know. 
I'm gonna check out what Adam's doing. Here he is over here. Our handyman. That's right. How we doing? Hot but good. <laughs> Evan is a handyman. He builds things. That's I don't right. build things. I just eat things. <laughs> and grow things. And grow things. And grow things. <laughs> windows in so far look here I have another window I can actually see outside from the sink it's so cool so I'm gonna let them get back they're putting one more window in today and uh, I'm gonna go out here and check on some people that are supposed to be doing their chores Michael what are you doing playing playing well let's see what Josiah is doing is Josiah doing what he's supposed to be doing I guess. So Josiah is out here watering all of our plants, aren't you bud? Yep. So I'm going to head back out here to the garden and rake up all the stuff that I pulled out a while ago. Thank you sir. Well the sun isn't quite as bright as it was earlier and it's not quite as hot, but I will say that all of this that I ripped out has dried out so now i'm going to use the rake and rake that all up so we can pull this out of here and i can go through and get extra close to the pepper plants so they won't be crowded at all I'm out here weeding in the pepper bed um, you know I've been really thinking you know pulling weeds and why do we pull weeds we pull weeds so they don't suffocate out our good plants that we want to grow so we can have a harvest and you know just thinking about our garden being you know our mind and how we really need to focus on removing those weeds those tears and snares that want to keep us down and want to smother out the good in our life and we have to make sure that we tend and keep our garden so the cares of this life don't keep us down so i'm going to keep on meditating on that and thinking about it as i keep pulling out weeds here in our pepper bed so we can have good fruit for the future Well, I am finally finished with this 50 foot row. <laughs> I have weeded the peppers and I think they look beautiful. They look a lot different than whenever I started. And it looks like a thunderstorm may be coming. Hopefully we'll have a shower. Did you know that lightning actually puts nitrogen in the air and whenever it rains during a thunderstorm it gives all that good nitrogen to your plants and that's why they grow so much better right after a thunderstorm than they do if you water them with city water or well water nice little tip for you there and as i was finishing up here i uh, just continue to think about you know taking those negative thoughts out of my garden out of my brain and because uh, that stuff affects us too we are not immune to what's going on and we don't have it all figured out but it is something to think on just taking those negative thoughts out and replacing it with something good and it's a constant battle that we all have to do so i encourage you start taking those negative thoughts out putting it back with something good you know turn off the tube of doom the box of dread and uh, find people that speak good things into your life and 
meditate on those things. And speaking of pulling weeds, my apothecary garden from last year, I haven't done anything with this year other than cut a few things back, but it's way overgrown. And I need to cut some of those weeds out of here so new stuff can grow. But for right now, I'm gonna go inside and see what all they have done. How's it coming along in here? It's coming along well. Evan's making a lot of progress. He's on the third window right now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so without your help, right? Yeah, I just almost need like a drink or something. I'm just sitting here watching, maybe some popcorn too. <laughs> We're on Windows 3 right now, so it's a little slow. <laughs> when are we going to get up to Windows 10? I don't know, 98 is long. <laughs> <laughs> Put another hole in my house. <laughs> and Evan just continued to plug away setting up our new windows. He was in the zone. But I did help him out some, just a little bit. Well, we put in a full day setting up those windows. And man, we really weren't able to fully enjoy it because we worked pretty much until sundown. But now, we're looking around and we have all this new light here in the yard. And I must say, I love it. It doesn't feel it. like we live in a cave anymore. It's I like, know. light, oh. Every time I walk in here, it's just like, oh look, I can see outside. It gives it a whole new feel. It's like we live in a completely different house. Yeah, it feels much, much bigger than yeah. what it has before. It definitely has more of a homey, home feeling to yeah. it. So I'm pretty excited. Check out the windows, guys. Come on. We can look outside and see Lacey, Lacey's apothecary garden just right there. And just paint around and see. Right outside we can see, oh, who's coming? <laughs> so we set up two windows here in our dining and living room area. And then we have same size window right over here and like this little nook area where Sayla likes to play her piano now right there and then we set up another smaller window right inside the kitchen and then we set up another one right inside the bedroom Come check it out right in here right near where Lacey works on putting the vlog together and then as she's we're laying in bed or at the video or at the desk working on a video you can just look right outside you can see the garden and you can see the chickens and the ducks and you can see the pond too pretty exciting and looking at it we think we can fit at least one more window in here so we'll have to go purchase another one but it is pretty exciting what do you think about having a window here in the bedroom now a real window a real window well i liked it whenever we had the old you know yurt windows but these are even better because you can close them from the inside. And the kids really haven't had real windows before, so they're like fascinated by the windows being able to slide. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> well, we really haven't had windows in, in almost three years because whenever we set up the um, AC, uh, we, we shut all the windows. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have to open them in the summer, so they've been covered up for, this will be our third summer with air. Yeah. So. And it's nice to be able, we have the windows open today since it's a little cooler and it's rainy. And uh, it's just nice to have that good flow of fresh air that we don't have to go through a huge workload of yeah. trying to open and then close windows yeah. when you have to. But it's, it's pretty neat. And uh, we also have some other ideas in mind of things we want to continue to do to renovate and make it look See, even look better that. in here. Look but that, that light is pretty amazing. You walk into light. <laughs> so you also have an idea of what you want to do for the walls. Yeah. Uh, what was the, some of those ideas you were talking about for the paneling or? Not necessarily for paneling. I always like the look of shiplap. And there are some really cool DIY shiplap videos out there taking plywood and ripping those down and painting them and putting them up. 
and I just want it to look light and bright in here. So I have some more ideas and hopefully you'll be on board. So that'd be a project for another day, but uh, we plan to have Evan come out again uh, since he's really good with that kind of work and his specialty is framing and woodworking. So uh, we're gonna actually be putting up some the siding here pretty oh, soon. We had to put the a, outside. on the outside. Yeah. So we're gonna have plans for the inside, but first we're gonna work on the outside and, yeah. and uh, getting official siding up. And, and uh, I can't wait to see it. It's just so neat to see all the things starting to come together. Mm -hmm. We had to put a lot of this on the back burner just because all the stuff that had to be done outside. Well, and, so, and like I talked garden. about earlier in the video, you know, some stuff just has to get put on the back burner because there are more important things to do in the moment. Yeah. Well, so make sure you stay tuned for that project when we start doing that. I'm looking forward to that. Also, we're doing a giveaway, partnered up with my homeopath, Melissa, and she's doing a giveaway for one of her classes that she does, and you've yeah. taken the class mm -hmm. before. It's really great. And if, if you don't know anything about homeopathy, it's wonderful, because I didn't, and I really, really enjoyed taking it with her. So we're gonna be announcing that giveaway and the details in our upcoming email this week. So if you haven't already, subscribe to our email newsletter and watch out for that email. Well, that's it for now. Make sure you stay tuned for more adventures here of life on our homestead, growing food, living with in a year with windows. With windows. <laughs> See you next yeah. time.